what I want to talk about here in this piece is circling back to the building of that network and the things that need to be adapted. This is very confusing for people. Do I change who I am? Do I change my messaging? Uh, you know, what do I adapt to? And you had some really interesting insights about what needs to be adapted to and what people should just leave alone. It is what it is. Yeah. And I think that's, that's the thing is that when you're, when you're reaching out to people, you're, so there's, there's two ways to think about it when you've got LinkedIn. You've got the things that you're posting actively, like, you know, on your page, but then you've also got the messages and the people that you're connecting with. I think first things first is I try and connect with every single person, every mm. single person. I think just imagine that your LinkedIn is a room filled with all your prospects or customers and you're just going out, handing your business card. The more you post, the more likely it is that they're going to see, see that. And what tend to happen was... People kept saying, seeing Ellie Twigger, Ellie Twigger, Ellie Twigger, and they'd be like, you're all over my LinkedIn. We can't get away from you. And I'd be like, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, um, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, what, what what does that mean? Um, and I think something that's, re that's really crucial as well, when you're thinking about, you know, when I think about prospects, and I've had it before where people say to me, oh, would you only reach out to people from the UK? Oh, you, you sh surely you don't work with people in the US and that. And I just think... No, it, of course I do. I reach out to everybody. And because I'm British, because I'm the type of person I am, people tend to think, okay, maybe her brand won't work in certain countries. Mm. What, I, what I really like to think of is I don't judge a person by their their culture or their company or, or, or their country, you know, what that stereotypical it is known for I like to judge people on the, the person that they are and the company that they work for and then I tend to you know modify my message based on that we can't just assume that everybody who's from one country has this one stereotype because imagine I, I, I've met many people from many countries who are very very different um but then this is where automation fits in being able to scale this and having you know those set messages in your voice that you can just scale out how I used to work when I was an SDR was you know I tiered all my accounts tier one tier two tier three tier ones are the ones you pop in your champagne you've got uber personalized messages you want to run they connect you stop running you're bright red you record a video like hey I'm so excited to connect with you and here's why um but then with your tier threes, it's more of those generalized messages but still sent in your own voice yeah um, that's how I, that's how I used to work.